Welcome back to my 12 days of Christmas. My husband's not joining me today. He had some things to do, so I'm flying solo. Today we are making peanut butter fudge. This is my sister-in-law's recipe, and whenever I think of fudge, I always think of her. Kind of like whenever I think of rum balls, I always think of my other sister-in-law. That is a hilarious story for another day. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is put three quarters of a cup of butter in my pan. I'm just gonna let that melt. And I'm gonna add to that some sugar, three cups of sugar. I know, kind of probably why we don't eat fudge that often or why they put it in, they cut it in little tiny bite-sized pieces because it's a lot. So we're going to uh, get this in the pan along with two thirds cup of evaporated milk. Put that in there. My sister-in-law is a fabulous cook when it comes to different um, sweets and things. Like she does every holiday up and she always adds her special touch to everything that she does. Both my sister-in-laws do. They are fabulous bakers and they just they're good at what they do so I know that this recipe is going to be fabulous and I'm gonna tell you a little something here a little background I've only made fudge one time in my whole life just once and it did not come out it was kind of like toffee I'm not a fudge maker so uh, <laughs> we'll see if this works I'm hoping and I have faith that it is going to work. I'm just gonna let all the butter melt and this get all mixed in together. Do you make fudge during the holidays? I don't ever remember my mom ever making fudge. And like I said, I only made fudge once. And I failed. My kids weren't big fudge eaters. We're really not big sugar eaters. What we make, we generally give away. My husband is a type one diabetic since the age of four, and our youngest son is also a type one diabetic from a very young age. So we weren't a house full of sugar for sure. During the holidays, I really enjoy the, just the baking of you know, sugar cookies and all of those things that you relate to Christmas because when I think of the Christmas season I think of baking and doing all those fun things with your family and creating and I love that it's just those warm feelings that you get and uh, I think that's part of what Christmas is part of the Christmas magic okay my butter is all melted so we're going to wait for this to come up to a boil and we're gonna let it boil five minutes. This says that it's easy peanut butter fudge. So far it's been pretty good. I can't complain. The truth is going to be in whether or not it sets up. You can see that it's come to a boil so I set my timer for five minutes. We're just going to slowly stir this so that nothing burns on and watch it for five minutes. Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn the heat off and remove my pan from that burner and we're going to add our other ingredients. First we're going to add some peanut butter and this is crunchy peanut butter. One cup. I'm adding crunchy because my husband really wanted nuts in this so that's that's how we're going to do it is by using crunchy peanut butter. Okay, what you want to do is stir this around until you get all of that peanut butter melted. All of that melted in this hot syrupy mix. It smells good already. I'm not a fan of chocolate fudge. 
but I do like peanut butter. So this is going to be delicious. All right, I think that's melted pretty good, don't you? All right, next ingredient we're going to add is fluff. This is just marshmallow fluff, nine ounces. These little push cups are so great. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Pampered Chef, or you can get them at a yard sale. <laughs> that's actually where I got two of mine just happened along them. I have a couple the same size and then one smaller one and oh my gosh they are so handy and they make things so much cleaner and easier. Boys, oh boys, look at this. All right, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla in with this. Let's get this stirred up. Now, get this all mixed in really, really well. Get all these ingredients mixed in. Oh, I can't tell you how good this smells. In the comment section below, I would love to hear, are you a peanut butter fudge fan or are you a chocolate fudge fan? or maybe you're both. I'd love to hear about it. Now we're gonna get this into a nine by 13 parchment lined pan. I'm attempting to do this solo, so let's hope it works. This is a cast iron pan and I'm telling you, it's challenging me right now because it's extremely heavy. so good. Okay, I want to smooth this right out. Doesn't that look good? I can't believe that. I mean, this looks like real fudge. I've never had fudge look like real fudge before. I do a lot of things, but I, I have to say that I'm pretty, I'm, I'm not very good at doing things I'm not good at. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't like doing things that I, I'm not good at. I like to see good results. Okay, this is gonna set at room temperature for about three hours or overnight. It's time for the moment of truth. I have let these sit overnight on the counter. All I've done is drape a cloth over them and just let them sit and set until they were firm. I haven't looked at them yet today, so we're gonna do that together. Well, they look good. Oh my gosh, it's firm. <laughs> That's a good sign, good sign, good sign. Okay, so now I need to cut them. I hope this cuts okay. I'm gonna use a sharp knife. It's going down through fairly easy. It's cutting like butter. Okay. I should take this out of the pan. Let me take this out of the pan so you can see a little bit better. And this is the reason why I like using parchment because it's much easier to, to cut it and, and remove it from the pan. You're not having to deal with anything sticking to it. Okay, so here's, here's the first piece. So we need to try this. It's way too early in the morning for this, but somebody has to do this. I did it. No, I actually made fudge for the first time. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is so good. You have to make this recipe. It was so easy. Like, you, you saw how easy it was. 
and it was really quick other than the waiting you know overnight but you could wait just a couple two three hours and I think it would be just fine um, as long as it's not in a really warm area just put it in a cooler area of your house or put it in the refrigerator to set it really is an easy fudge recipe and I hope you try it because this is the best season to eat fudge I mean mm -hmm.